Welcome back to Real Fishing 2 The Walkthrough. Today we are heading back to the small streams of Japan, this time in search of the Ayu. The Ayu are a small uh, vegetarian fish that lives in uh, the streams of Asia, uh, East and Southeast Asia. Um, it's important to note that this is not the first session that I've done. In fact, this is, I think, the third or fourth session of this fish, and I did unlock a large rod. Now, I had no success uh, getting any decent size IU in with a small rod, so once you've gone fishing a couple times, you unlock the large rod. There's probably some hidden um, system there that helps you unlock that rod. So I did unlock the large rod, and that gave me the strength to uh, to pull these fish in. Before, I was um, not able to ever turn them at all, but using the, the heavier tackle allowed me to turn more of the fish that I'm looking for. Um, fortunately, I was not able to turn that one in that particular run. Uh, let's talk about the IU. You're using a special rig here that makes it look like you're reeling in two fish. That's because you are. Uh, the IU is fished for uh, with the traditional method in which you use a, another live or dead IU fish uh, that you cast into these waters with a stinger hook tied behind it. Uh, and this rig is called the IU no Tomozuri. Ayu no Tomozuri, and it looks like um, you run a, a wire through the eyes of your decoy. They call it a decoy uh, in English. You run a wire through the eyes that makes kind of a loop, and then to that loop you tie a stinger hook that goes uh, towards the tail of your decoy, Ayu. Uh, Ayu apparently are, they do eat uh, vegetation that grows on rocks and streams, but they are extremely territorial, so they will attack um, fish that come into their area. So uh, when you cast out with another live or dead Ayu and twitch it, that's what you get. So this is based on a real um, method. I watched a video of some Ayu fishers, anglers on YouTube, and it looks like the rod that they use to haul these fish in is, it looks like it's about 20 feet long. It, it is the length of several um, adults standing height. Uh, so they stretch these cane poles out over uh, streams like this. In the description of this level, which I did not capture in this particular one, I, I'm sad to say, uh, it talks about the, the blue-green color of the vegetation that covers the bottom of this. Uh, you notice, by the way, while I've been yammering about the uh, fishing methods for Ayu, I've been losing lots of Ayu. They are a difficult, difficult fish to retrieve, even the smaller ones. Uh, even the smaller ones can be, can be hard to turn around, and my catch rate was extremely low when I didn't unlock the larger rod. So once I had gone a couple times I'd, in the hidden counter, maybe a fish counter or a hook set counter or time counter, uh, there also you need to hook them quickly. So um, you want to you get them as soon as that the strike indicator moves. So the IU, we need to have an IU that is uh, more than one foot is what we're looking for right here. More than a foot. And this is not an, more than a foot IU. This is a smaller one. You can tell by the sound that it makes. That higher pitch splashing sound is the less than one foot fish. And I know you're all watching so many of these misses. I wanted to leave a lot of them in um, to give you an idea of what it looked like. I didn't uh, capture or I didn't include, I should say, any of the um, short rod. It looked basically like this, except I was just losing even more fish. <laughs> Um, my rate here is pretty low. This is this is a one footer, so this is a fish that that could be a uh, level advancer. But when you see right there, uh, you're trying to pull on those fish to turn them. And with the shorter rod, it was like IU rod S and IU rod L is what they're listed as. Even with the stronger line, I'm not able to uh, to turn them. And when I used the strongest line, by the way, in this level, I wasn't able to get uh, very many bites at all. So this is a level where it did actually make a big difference to use a line strength that was more middle of the road. I did like the music and the uh, the atmosphere of this level. You're looking at a small creek. Um, and of course, the bottom is covered with the blue-green vegetation that these fish are feeding on. And it just, it looks funky to see <laughs> when you're reeling in, uh, especially when it's head on like that. You can see two fish pulling in. And somewhere in the uh, in the manual, there's a there's a picture of it. And so if you're looking at um, the manual or, or the tutorial of this game, you're like, what are we doing here? So uh, here we go. Here is a nine and a third incher. And yes, it goes by IU Sweetfish. 
according to Wikipedia, the flesh of the Ayu, which is related to, distantly related to the Smelt uh, family, um, has a cucumber uh, melon flavor to it, uh, which has given it the nickname of Sweetfish in some of the places where it's found. Uh, these are always difficult. When the fish starts to go into, I call it the kick animation, where they're trying to throw the hook, uh, when they do that facing you, it seems like it's very, very, very difficult to, to quote-unquote turn them because the only weapon you have is, is pulling them towards you. Uh, it doesn't seem to work con counter to them. I have not yet found a um, technique to turn them. And fights like that are pretty common here in the IU stream. Um, the fish is hooked, immediately goes into the kick animation, and uh, despite your best efforts, you can't turn them, and they're gone within a few seconds. Get ready for that to happen a lot. Uh, no one said that Real Fishing 2 was an easy game, but your persistence does pay off, just like in fishing in real life. This is me uh, hearing that it was a smaller fish and just uh, yanking with everything I had and still wasn't able to turn it. I had gotten better at turning some other fish uh, by pulling into their turn instead of against their turn. If they're pulling towards the, the right, if they're kicking towards the right, uh, pulling the rod towards the right. Has seemed to uh, lead to some success. It also seems like, and I can't quite tell if this is just the way this is animated or if this is based on, on uh, realities of fishing with this particular rig, um, but it appears that the IU maybe are snagged um, by the belly as you as you hook them and not maybe not hooked in the mouth as in, uh, as in attacking. See, it seems pretty clear that the developers in this particular angle wanted you to, to see that they're, they're hooked by the body, they're uh, foul hooked or they're snagged, depending on uh, where you, <laughs> what what regional parlance you're using. I've heard both foul hooked and snagged. So there is a uh, half footer. So we need a, fo a fish that's uh, twice that length to advance in this level. And of course, because we're recording commentary, you probably know uh, what we're going to be catching here soon. <laughs> So this one is a foot long fish and it's facing me and started kicking. So I could not uh, get it turned. Getting it turned out of that animation was just not gonna happen. So we get to go back to the uh, the good music though, at least. This is another foot longer. You can tell by that deeper uh, splashing sound. And I've said this before in other videos, but not in this one. But if you're playing with a dual shock controller, as I do, um, the intensity of the vibrations of the uh, of the dual shock also indicate the size of fish. And uh, you can tell. There's the jingle. So that's how you know when you hear that jingle when you catch a fish that uh, that's indeed going to be the level winner, and it's going to advance you on. So that is it for IU Fishing. I, I don't know if there's going to be another round through the levels later on in this game. Real Fishing 1 has an interesting um, set to kind of reuse its assets where you, uh, you go back to levels and play them. After you've unlocked all the levels, you have to go back and catch even bigger fish that pro presumably weren't spawning or loading uh, when you were in those levels before. Um, but this level with so many different levels this game with so many different levels seems like maybe they don't have to do that maybe they wouldn't have room to do that with uh, 18 levels plus a hidden stage question mark question mark question mark at the end uh, so the next freshwater level that we're heading to is called trout fishing so we're going to be fishing in a small lake um, and we need to uh, catch a variety so rather than a size of fish we need to catch um, four different kinds of salmonids we on the saltwater side as of this recording we are still waiting to get to winter inshore fishing i'm trying to use up my summertime here in year three so we are going to head on to those freshwater fish uh, fish lakes and we'll see what we can pull out if we can't pull out anything in the trout fishing we'll head over to winter inshore fishing and see where the next video takes us if you've liked any of the videos in this series, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. And even more importantly, leave a comment because I do love to see your feedback. Or you can hit me up on Twitter where I am active underscore ATE. Either way, we will see you next time.